welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to create a cool pan and zoom effect on a still image. It's real simple. When you have your image you're going to go ahead and uh, click on create video timeline down here at the bottom of the screen. And once you do this, and my computer is just acting a little funky right now, but once you've clicked on it, you will then see the timeline appear. I'm going to go ahead and drag these um, out to where it's right around 10 seconds long or so. From there, I'm going to go ahead and click on um, up here where it says Essentials and go over to Motion. And after I do that, I'm then going to click on this arrow right here. And what this is going to do is allow me to do my Pan and Zoom, Pan, Zoom, Rotate, Rotate and Zoom. And I'm just going to click on Pan and Zoom. And we'll go ahead and just put the Pan at about 52 and we'll do Zoom In and we'll do Resize to fill the canvas. And we'll then go ahead and hit our play button. And you can see here it creates kind of like a Ken's burn effect on our image for us. And I know this is just a simple technique but it does work fairly well. Now along with this you can also create just a standard zoom effect. Now to do this, let's go ahead and stop this real quick. What, you, what you're going to notice is that you now have this transform um, section. So if we go ahead in here and we'll just go ahead and delete these real quick. And we'll go all the way back to the beginning of our clip. And we'll go ahead and click on the transform to create a section. And then we'll go over here and we'll do one here. We can then hit Control T to modify that. And you can see here our image is actually bigger than um, than what we are than our uh, our actual selection. So we can do that. And we can then move the picture in like that. Hit our enter button. And now we have a timeline that is just zooming in on our image. And you can do the opposite way as well and, and just reverse it, um, you know, however however you would uh, like to do that. So I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial lesson, and we'll see you soon. Be sure to comment below, rate this video, and let us know what future videos you'd like to see.